What's up everyone, it is the Big Game Hunter here and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we made our way to the Ongo's Cavern and did some exploration, got killed some enemies and had a good time. In this episode, we are going to continue on through this place. Okay, what you want to do is stick a bomb flower and fail at suicide. Ow, ow. Yes, you want to do it like that. Well, I'm just going to be... There's going to be massive suicide if I'm not as good as I thought I was through hitting these plants. Or whatever. There we go. Jump and smash you. Next. And there we go. Ah. Go away. Go away. Stop. You can do that for hours. You will not hurt me. Oh, jeez. No, no, I will not die. Where'd you go, you little... Geese. Wrong one. There we go. Move you out of the way. And step on the switch. There we go. Viewers, I don't know if you've ever done this, but have, whenever you, I go in a first person view when fire keys are around, um, they just look so weird. I don't know if you viewers do that, but every time I go in the first person when fire keys are around, I just. It looks so weird, and... Whoa. Jump! There we go. Yeah, yeah, nothing... Won't know what's around the corner. Z-targeting, always look around the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. don't think there's anything over here, so I'm going to take my chances and jump for it. There we go. There's some chests in here, one of which is right here. Thank you very much. Ooh, red rupee. Must have, must own. It, rupees are going to be very useful, and I just failed at that bomb throwing. Come on. I want, there you go. All right, we got to wait for the thing to get ready to go. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh. Alright, I switch. Right. Accuracy is crap. There we go. Ah, babies! Babies! Go away, babies! Babies! And guess what? Second mini boss fight! I will not give up. I will never surrender. What are you two doing? You're doing... Stop with the jumping jacks. Double jumping jack attack. Go! Come on. Ow. 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 Oh crap, 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 no, 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 I will not die, I will not die! Ow. Crap, I'm gonna have to use another milk. Drink from the light bulb! And I'll die. Ow. 
Come here, you. Oh, what? Why didn't you take any damage? There we go. The door is now opened, and we can go. Um, out there on that little platform you can see on the little mini map down there, there's actually a couple of hearts out there, and that room overlooks the first room where we fought these guys. But I don't consider doing that because you could easily fall right off and have to go through all that crap again. Alright. There we go. Alright. And in here. Haha, you thought you could mess me up, but I was confident. Woo. Alright, here it is, dungeon item. You got the bomb bag, which now makes your Goron bracelet utterly useless. Hold 20 bombs inside, and I can set the bombs. Let's see. We'll be doing that. There we go. Pillar right now rises above to pick us up, and now we don't have to like go through all that hectic stuff to get that. Okay. Well, what you want to do to continue on? You want to drop a bomb right into this thing's eye. There we go. He's seeing red. There we go. Now the mouth opens, and we can go inside. But before we do that, I want to see what's in here. I don't ever, I don't think I ever opened that, but there's a chest in there, and inside the chest is... Blue Rupee. How disappointing. Aha! I cannot survive falls that could kill me, but that fall did not kill me, so I survived, and I have no idea where I was going with that. And hey, look, there's the boss room, but we cannot go to it because there's a pressure switch in there, and we cannot go into the pressure switch because, well, the pressure switch takes pressure to stay on it all time to open the door, so yeah. More fire keys, don't care about them. Son of a- Die! I shoot you out of the sky! I said I shoot you out of the sky! Thank you. Take some more pellets. What's up here? Uh, just a way to get in there, but that's gonna be utterly useless. Pick up the bomb, pick up the bomb! Ow! Ow! I forgot these things blow up faster than bomb flower. There we go. What's in here? Uh, an armos knight. Okay. Ooh, scotchula! Yep, I thought you were gonna... Come on, come on, come on. Thank you! Up! Oh, ooh, bombs. Let's grab the bomb. Thank you. And Scotland. Here, let's see if we can get a good view of a fire key. Just look how weird this thing is. Ow! Ow! Burning. I cannot jump to save my life. If yours, I might as well, um, while we're he almost done with this dungeon, I might as well talk about the new function I'm doing with the bosses. Um, basically, in the, like the first one I talked about through the number of difficulty, well, this one I'm going to be... Ooh, fairy, fairy. Come back here. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be, um, rating them on a type of weapon. 
which are going to be the Kokiri, Razor Sword, and the Master Sword. Kokiri means they're pathetically easy. The Razor Sword means they're somewhere in the middle, not that hard, but not that easy. And Master is they're pretty darn tough. Uh, great more fire keys. I hate these guys. They're just so weird when they fly towards you. And my accuracy is so crap that I won't be able to even hit them out of the sky. I'm probably get curl up like a turtle. Aha! Alright, push the bar, come on, push it faster, move faster. There we go. Alright, viewers. Take your stick, some bombs. Lay down a bomb right here to open up the passage into the boss room. Get some more bombs, just cause so we can have a full stock. And jump in for probably the most overpowered... Th I guess you could say this is probably the most epic slash intense boss entry ever. For the most pathetic boss ever put into a video game. Infernal Dinosaur King Tatango. This guy, he looks so he looks so epic and cool and all that, but he is a joke. He gets a rating of Kokiri Sword in the difficulty rating and that. The worst you're just gonna worry about is the freaking lava that surrounds the entire center of the room. But he is not tough at all, trust me. And he's dumb as bricks. Back into the center. Come on, come on. Open up, open up, open up. Open up! There we go. Open wide and say bomb! Open wide and say bomb, Double D! And that was it! That was it! That was... The easiest boss ever put into a video game. And now he commits massive suicide by... Rolling into the lava, it struggles to get out. Dun, 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 dun. He will not survive this. Grab our heart container. Life energy is back, and now into the light. It's me, Darunia! Well done! Ow. Thanks to you, we have once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure it was, make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo's suddenly appear in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All of that trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. You obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. 
You don't know what he meant by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you keep brushing up on your oh, on your skills and you travel, won't you? You should see the great fairy on top of the Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Oh, crap. Oh, no. No, that's okay. You did great. How about a big Goron hug? Uh, run, Link! Yeah. Run for it! And look, they magically, magically decided to not follow us. Alright viewers, this part has been going on for a well good enough time, so I think it's a good place to end it. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we will go up to the top of Death Mountain and meet this great fairy of which Darunia told us to go see. See you guys later!